Medical Doctors in Equity State Health Management Board and the state's primary health care management withdrew your services. There is no sign of an end to the industrial dispute. This is as organized labor in the state under the umbrella of the Nigeria Labor Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC have issued the governor, Kayode Fawemi-led administration, a 14-day ultimatum to meet its demands or risk indefinite strike action. The doctors, under the umbrella of the state chapter of the Association of Government General Medical and Dental Practitioners, had on June 30 began the strike over what they describe as government's failure to accede their request for payment of hazard allowance, rural posting allowances, three months salary arrears and implementation of skipping policy, among others. We're now joined by Dr. Tunji Omotayo, Chairman, Nigeria Medical Association, Equity State. Thank you uh, for joining us to look at this matter. In the midst of the pandemic, you're still making good your threat and even pushing it further to an indefinite strike. Why have you taken it this far? Thank you very much. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, the Nigeria Medical Association uh, Equity State joins the National Association of Government General uh, Medical and Dental Practitioners uh, to issue an ultimatum to the government for an issue that has actually uh, uh, passed up for a very long time. And of course, uh, the association issued a 21 day ultimatum which I can say that government actually ignored. At the expiration of 21-day ultimatum, the association issued an additional seven-day ultimatum. It was uh, towards the end of the seven-day ultimatum that government agents started calling and trying to negotiate, and of course, um, uh, nothing substantial came out of that negotiation. Uh, let me uh, uh, give us the background. In the state, uh, it is very pathetic that doctors working in the primary and secondary healthcare facilities are poorly treated. Their remuneration is not to write them about. It is only in this uh, category of doctors in the state that you have a doctor working for 10 years stagnating in only one position. It is very, very sad. Uh, this issue has um, lingered for a very long time. Uh, we expect uh, government to do something which government is not. And of course, uh, a 28-day ultimatum is enough for government to try to do something with it. So what are the issues? If you employ a doctor today in uh, a kitty state, uh, 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 in other hospitals in the state, uh, their exit point is different from those of uh, the doctors in primary health care facilities. And that cannot be acceptable because uh, the doctors in other hospitals we come in at an entry point called COMES 3, while the doctors in primary health care facilities come in in uh, COMES 2. I see that's bad enough. After coming at COMES 2, for 10 years, they have promotions that are not implemented. You have doctors that have worked for 10 years without, they have letters of promotion that is not implemented. And that cannot be acceptable. And what are we talking about here? When you have, when you have this disparity, you have migration of doctors, uh, from primary and secondary care facilities to tertiary facilities, and of course, you have them migrating outside the state. Uh, at the time of, uh, at, at the beginning of this crisis, we have uh, 120 doctors in the service of the state uh, hospital management board. As of today, they are down to 71. That number will continue to drink. Uh, Dr. Motayo, let me, let me interject and ask you, because uh, there are a multiplicity of issues from what you're saying. What is the go What has been the government's stance, say for last week, for instance, because this cannot be allowed to continue? Yes. Actually, we didn't, we didn't expect that this strike would drag this long, because we expect a responsible government uh, so if we have a 28-day ultimatum, we expect government to do something about it. And of course, as, as of today, Governor Kaurifahimi has not made a single statement on this issue. And that is not acceptable. 
we cannot take the health care, uh, we cannot take the health care delivery of our people with this type of uh, this gene. It is it is it is very sad and very very uh, uh, it is very sad, and very very unacceptable. All right, let, let, me, let me ask you this. Is this a total strike? Because we know that um, strike or not, people get sick, people need the attention of doctors. So is this a total strike or it is partial? Has there some services being rendered to the people while you are trying to agitate for what you need to work? We have endured this action for a very long time. At the beginning of this crisis, we didn't even, the life of a doctor is built around the hospital. The most difficult thing for a doctor to do is to go on strike. We, we, we started this negotiation for more than one year ago. Government did not do anything about it. It was only when the doctors were pushed to the wall that they embarked on this action. And for three weeks, the government did not do anything. The doctors, because you see, the doctors in these facilities, they have nothing more to lose. The situation cannot get worse than this. And the implication of this is very simple. The other two hospitals working in the Kitty State, that is the teaching hospital in, in Adoe Kitty and the federal teaching hospital in Adoe Kitty, they are already overstretched. And of course, that simply means the only hospitals working in the state are those in Adoe Kitty. The other part of the Kitty, the hospitals there are not working. And that should, that should arouse, that should prompt the interest of the responsible government to do something about it saying about this because if the government is silent the people are the one feeling the brunt of uh, the need for doctors services what are they saying are they joining you in this or are they concerned about the people that are sick in the hospital well uh the 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 people the people they know that um these hospitals are for them it is not left for them to ask government what is going on because in those, in, those, in, in, those, in those hospitals, we have, those hospitals are actually poorly staffed, even before this crisis. A total, uh, we have a total of 22 general hospitals in APT. And out of those 22 general hospitals, general specialist hospitals, you have 31 doctors. If you divide that, that will give you an average of about three doctors per hospital. In, in, modern, in modern times, that can not be acceptable. How can you have three doctors in the hospital? And of course, you have some of these hospitals have been not more than one doctor, man in day. And the reason why, why you have this, this type of crisis is because the doctors working in these places, they are not... Right, they are uh, not Dr. Motayo, the, the line has... They are gone, moving in mass. Uh, Dr. Motaya, the line has gotten a bit fuzzy, so, um, but I, I think you made your point across. We thank you for your time, and we hope uh, to see a quick resolution uh, to the dispute in the interest of the patients as well as the doctors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.